So um, I'm Eric Spanert. Um, I'm the general manager of the client business unit at uh, Western Digital. Um, uh, the, the business unit covers several verticals, uh, computing, smart video, connected home, and gaming. And today I'm going to be focusing on gaming in my presentation. So really key messages uh, around this presentation. First, gaming is booming and is really changing um, our societies. Second message is that gamers have very complex requirements and it takes a holistic approach to, um, to product design to satisfy uh, those requirements. And the third message is at Western Digital, we have the WD Black portfolio, which is the most uh, innovative and comprehensive portfolio um, of uh, storage <coughs> for, the, for the gamers. So um, uh, a few data. Gaming is really uh, becoming pop culture. Uh, gaming is becoming mainstream. <coughs> um, last, last year, over 100 million people watched the, the finals of the League of Legends championship with an amazing peak of 44 million concurrent viewers. It's a massive scale. At, um, as, as a comparison, about 100 million people are expected to watch the Super Bowl uh, in, in 10 days. Um, gaming is mainstream. Uh, a few statistics uh, coming from Twitch, one of the biggest streaming platforms for, for gaming. They report uh, 2.2 million uh, bro broadcasters, 2.2 million uh, streamers. They have 15 million daily visitors and an amazing number of 2 million uh, peak concurrent uh, viewers. So again, massive scale. <coughs> um, gaming is an experience, and it's an experience not only um, for, um, um, for, for the gamers. About 2.5 billion gamers in the world, so one third of the, um, of the world population uh, ga um, uh, practices games. But also, it's an experience for the viewers, as, as uh, this uh, picture is showing. So the number of uh, eSports viewers continue to increase year over year and will reach about half a billion uh, next year. So gaming is continuously um, evolving. Um, we've, we are familiar, so gamers um, demand better and better graphics uh, over time. We are familiar with the 4K transition uh, in graphics. Tomorrow will come 8K, uh, even 10K, uh, seeing the, the recent announcement. Gaming, in gaming, multitasking uh, is very important because there are a lot of things that gamers do uh, in the background. They can be, for example, editing their, their video, they can be streaming their contents, and they can also be running a lot of different applications <coughs> in the background. So understanding this uh, multitasking dimension is very important. Uh, are these SSDs or are these test drives? I, I will come back to the portfolio uh, here. We have a combination of hard disk drive and SSD. And finally, um, virtual reality is an emerging space uh, in gaming and driving its own set of requirements, uh, including smaller form factor. So um, to design products uh, in gaming, what are the, the key care about? Aesthetics uh, is, is a very important uh, care, care about. Um, as, as a gamer, I want my case to look better than, than your case. I'm going to spend a lot of money uh, building stunning cases. Uh, in gaming, um, liquid cooling uh, is becoming almost mainstream. RGB um, is, is, is becoming an important factor. <coughs> Capacity is, an, is, an, is another uh, key care about. Why? Because the average size of games continue to grow, 30, 50, even 60 gigabytes. So keep, keep, keep on growing, and you need a lot of capacity to store uh, all those games. And finally, performance is important. It's, it's important, especially in the context of uh, multitasking. So um, we 
care a lot at, at Western Digital about the aesthetic, about the, the look and feel. Our products are very sleek uh, in their design, very elegant, but they are, they are also very durable. They are here to protect your <coughs> content. They have this loot box um, uh, kind of you know, aesthetics to take a, 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 gaming, a, a gaming technology. Um, they are also very uh, thermal efficient. So one example is this uh, product was designed with a heat sink. Another example is this product has vents on the bottom to let hot air, uh, hot air escape. And finally, this uh, product here has uh, fans, internal fans for, for active cooling. So not only do our products look cool, but they are cool. Um, we offer a wide uh, range of uh, densities. And I'm going to now go quickly uh, go through the portfolio. So on the left hand side, we have the SN750, uh, which is an internal <coughs> SSD, which we released last year <coughs> with an NVMe interface. So great performance, 3.5 gigabyte per second and up to terabytes in, in density. Then we have a choice of uh, several external <coughs> options. The P10 here is based on the HDD uh, technology with a 2.5 inch form factor, uh, up to five terabytes in density and 140 megabytes per second in, in performance. The WD Black 10 here is an external um, SDD with a larger form factor, 3.5 inch, but also faster speed and also higher density support. So up to eight terabytes and 250 megabytes per second of uh, performance. And finally, we have the WD Black P50, which is an external SSD sharing a common, inter uh, a common architecture with the internal SSD here, uh, the fastest um, uh, external SSD in the, in the marketplace. We also have a couple of <coughs> um, devices which were co-branded for the uh, Xbox One edition, very similar to the uh, P10 and D10, which I previously described, but with a higher density uh, support. Okay. So uh, where does performance matter in the, in the gamer journey? Well, first, as gamers, you want to be able to download uh, your game uh, as fast as possible. But now you're going to be very limited by the network uh, bandwidth. So whatever interface you're on, whether SATA or, or NVMe, you're going to get about the same performance. Um, however, when 5G comes online with a, a, a download performance of 1.25 gigabytes per second, then NVMe uh, will offer will, will offer better performance than uh, SATA. Uh, where NVMe makes a really a huge difference um, over SATA is in game loading and in the context of multitasking. So you can see a huge difference between NVMe and the, the SATA options here. Finally. Um, I just want to have a, a word on <coughs> the role of uh, heat sink uh, in the context of throttling. So we typically throttle our devices when they reach a certain uh, temperature. And here we have those two uh, versions of the SN750 without heat <coughs> sink, with a heat sink. So you can see that the average performance without heat sink is much uh, higher than with heatsink. Why? Because this device with, uh, with heatsink doesn't get throttled as much uh, as the device uh, without heatsink. You can also see that the time it takes for the device with heatsink uh, to get into throttling mode is much higher than the device uh, without heatsink. So, um, as, as a conclusion, it's a booming market. 
uh, very complex uh, requirements, but we have a great portfolio to intersect all these, uh, all these trends. We have great feedback from the gaming community. We also have great partners in the gaming ecosystem. Uh, AMD is a key partner to us, and I will let Leah carry on the, the presentation. Thank you. So some of you already recognize me either here in the room or out there in the, in the Twitter sphere. You all recognize me. Uh, my name is Leah Shobe. I work for AMD. I am a senior developer manager there. I am in charge of the uh, storage ecosystem for client. And WD has asked me to come and talk to you a little bit about gaming, because that's one area that we have exploded in um, and has actually uh, done a lot for, for our stock portfolio, which I'm really happy about. So let me ask, how many <coughs> gaming enthusiasts do we have out there? Do we have a few? Yeah, OK. OK. Well, I'm going to show you some stats that will actually show you how much everyone is into gaming. And it's, it's surprising on the amount of the population, the Earth's population, as you saw earlier, that almost one third of the world's population is now into gaming. So this is an area that has a huge demand for storage, which is really nice. And so that is one area that I have spent a lot of time in. So just take a look at our graphics cards. And this is one area that has just exploded, not only for AMD, but just for the graphics industry in general. From PCs, a lot of our high-end workstations, uh, from consoles, we're in most consoles today, uh, cloud gaming, we'll talk about that in a little while, and also even in mobile. Uh, you find you're sitting in a restaurant or you're sitting at an airport, and what do you see? Everybody's kids got their phone, got their parents' phone right there, and they're gaming. And they're either real-time gaming or gaming straight off of that, of that mobile device. And so it's something that is everywhere for all ages. And just for us alone, look at our install base last year. I mean, we're talking about over 400 million devices just for us alone. And so if you look at it industry-wide, we know that there has got to be billions out there of gaming devices, and most of them are live streaming. Whether they're live streaming from their own consoles or live streaming from a data center, they're live streaming, and all of that needs storage. Whether you're talking about EMMC storage, you're talking about NVMe storage, it doesn't matter. Everyone is streaming and everyone is gaming. And what do gamers want? They want speed. They want real time. They want that edge that gets them to find um, that next proponent, that next treasure that they're looking for faster than anyone else. <laughs> so it's not just uh, in the processor. But that means we have to have fast storage. That means we have to have faster memory. That means that we have to have faster networks. Everything has to be faster in order for the average gamer to find that next thing. Um, they want to make sure that those frame rates are refreshed at a, on a regular basis so they can see that real time. They want to make sure that they can be able to see it in a high quality, so you're going to see a lot of HD gaming. Um, you know, you've seen, seen a lot of 1080p. Well, you know, now there's 4K. Now we're looking at 8K. I was in Asia last month and spent a lot of time with uh, display developers just looking at the next generation of what 8K technology is going to look like. But this yeah, is very big. Yes. And on, on that, you know, the way that we had, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the way that we had flash in the consumer market especially with Apple, drove Flash into the enterprise. Do we see any of the technologies you're talking about here that are used in that sort of um, personal fashion coming into the enterprise as a result? Yes, yes. And I, I will talk about that a little later in the presentation, about how that's tying back to the data center. Okay. Just in gaming revenue, this is huge. I mean, 30 
30, almost $36 billion in revenue last year and just, and just buying games. I mean, we haven't even bought the equipment. We're just buying the software. This is a huge market. And the revenue for eSports, that was mentioned earlier, talking about the millions of people that are watching eSports. It's a huge, huge sport, and it brings in a lot of revenue. Storage is at the bottom of this. A lot of people don't realize that. And the amount of hours. I mean, you think about the billions of hours that are spent a year with people just gaming. People trying to relieve stress, connect with their kids. There's so many use cases on why people game. And it's growing every day. So leading the markets uh, for gaming, that is something that AMD has done. From PCs, we have found that especially our, our high-end workstations, there are people that are spending $30,000, 40000 on just a gaming system. I mean, they're spending way more on a workstation gaming system than they are on a server. That's, that's a lot of money. Consoles have gone way up. Cloud gaming is huge. There were a lot of announcements that you saw from Google, from, from Microsoft, from others about the offerings that they're doing with cloud gaming. It is, it is big. And then you know, I mentioned before about the millions of mobile units that we all use to game off of our tablets, off of our phones. So we have almost a half a billion gamers and creators using our products today. So it's not just popular with end users, but it's very popular with folks who create games as well. So we have to be uh, very vigilant in their needs. And we're finding that they have very unique storage needs in how they create games, create, create effects, need that time for uh, rendering and compilation. Um, you know, we're looking at new technologies like computational storage to be able to handle some of this so that they can bring products to market even faster because the de demand keeps getting larger and larger. So Leah, how do you know that the 500 million AMD rating graphics are using, are using games? Oh, because we, we count the numbers of folks that, you know, that use our, use our games. Game so, and stuff. Yeah, okay. yeah, so we have all those, st uh, f f those stats, not just from um, you know, our own data, but also talking to the analysts. So there are analysts that do track this, that do help us uh, get these numbers. And as you can see, one out of two gamers um, use high-end hardware. They spend no expense <laughs> on hardware. They want the latest, they want the flashiest. I, don't, I didn't get a chance to bring a sample of a gaming system, um, but if you see a gaming PC, you look inside, it's covered in glass because you want to see all the lights. Um, we, we, we got this uh, new memory and it, it just, it, it's bejeweled and it just lights up in rainbow colors. And so when you're gaming, you, you basically have the Vegas lights going on inside your system. And this is huge. People spend a ton of money on this. And uh, most gamers that we find uh, today their graphics that they're using are three years or older. So there's a huge opportunity for them to upgrade. And a lot of them are now recognizing that they need to upgrade in order to be successful in these new games that have come out. There's, there's lots of new games that have come out that have higher demands. And so that requires new graphics cards. And requiring new, new graphics cards and new GPUs also means that you require more storage. And we'll talk about that. Memory, on an average, if you look at games over the past 15 years, just the average demand for memory just to initially download a game so that you can run the video while the rest of it's being downloaded has increased greatly over the past 15 years. Storage is another area 
that has increased. If you look at the average of what you need, I was just playing Borland's a couple of weeks ago, it takes a lot of storage to be able to house this. And even though this goes up to an average of 150 gig, I've seen games as high as a half a terabyte needed in order to store that game. So that's why the storage that, uh, that um, Western Digital was talking about right before I got up here, they're talking about that um, the, 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 uh, the density and the high end capacity of storage needed, it's just to store a few of those games. Another reason why NVMe solid state is so important in gaming is loading times. You wanna make sure you load that game as fast as possible. There are areas where you can do progressive loading, that's great, <coughs> but if you can load those games faster so you can get started faster. If you've got you know, a 10 year old, he's not going to be very patient. He wants that game loaded now. So you know, in order to keep him quiet. So this is extremely important. Cooling is another area. If you have your uh, storage running hot, it's gonna slow your game down. That's why uh, earlier it was mentioned to use heat sinks so that efficiently you're able to keep things cool, you're able to run your game and keep up your performance, and quieter, you know, it's gonna be quieter than, a, than an HDD because you don't have a lot of fans going, especially if you're able to use heat, heat sink on your solid state technology. Durability, this is something that is uh, for an area in client that's extremely important. HDDs are gonna be around for years, you know, in the enterprise, they're gonna be there. But when it comes to client gaming, that's something that the industry is moving away from. And that is something that, uh, that's very desirable for gamers. So um, just want to make that clear. HDDs are going to be around for a long time. Just in gaming, it's going away. <clears throat> Cloud gaming is something that is huge. The location of your box changes all of a sudden. You've got consoles in the cloud. When you look at Google, their Google offering, they use gaming servers. They use our servers as gaming servers and they stream live to your devices. If you're looking at Microsoft, Microsoft literally puts Xboxes in their data centers to stream to you live. They even offer for you to be able to stream off of your own Xbox. If you buy a new Xbox today, you can be your own live streaming to any of your devices. Well, they also offer that in the data center. And on demand, the way they have to queue this up in the data center is similar to what you would see at Netflix or any type of on-demand video. So they're going to need high-speed, performing, high-capacity storage media in order to store, you know, 100 games and be able to stream that out real time, just like you would with Netflix or with Prime Plus or, <coughs> or any of those other uh, streaming services. It's very similar. The demands are very similar. Yeah. Is this market uh, different from, uh, you know, of course, having your uh, console at home or, or uh, you know, is, is this for the casual gamer or is it becoming something more mainstream, right? This is something that, that's becoming more mainstream. Um, and the average enthusiast is very interested in this because if they don't have the money to spend $40,000 on that really good system or uh, they just don't want to own a box, this is an alternative. And we're finding that this is ramping very quickly and nicely with enthusiasts. You know, your, your professional sports gamer is still going to invest in the box while well, they make the money to do so. But, uh, but yeah, this is something that's ramped up very well only because now we have the technology to do it. Now we have the memory, the storage, the network. We have the infrastructure to be able to support this from the data center, which we haven't had before. So we're just going to continue gaming. We're going to continue creating great products. Um, WD has been a great partner that um, 
that we have found great performance in our workstations and um, all of our premium products. Uh, they've been a, a great partner in supporting what we do in gaming with our, um, with our Ryzen products and the support of our graphics.